Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So, looking at our utility actions, uh, we're going to review how we can validate an email address in Power Automate. So, I have a flow here, super simple, Microsoft form gets submitted, um, and I simply want to check that the email address of the submitter is valid, and then if it is, I'd like to send them a thank you email. So, very simple scenario. What we'll do, uh, we'll do a new step, we'll pick the Encodian connector up, if I can type that is. Here we go, and I'll click see more, and that'll open up all of the actions on the connector, and I can scroll right to the bottom, and we'll pick up utility validate email address. Um, the email address I want to validate is coming from the get response details action here, and if I scroll to the bottom, I should pick up the responder's email address, and this is the email address that's going to be valid. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to add a control uh, condition control to this um, action, even to this flow, where I can say based on a certain um, certain property equaling or containing whatever the operator might be to something, do something else. So I'm going to say if the email address uh, is valid. So in this example, the utility email address action will return a property called result, and that will either be it's a boolean, so it's either going to be true or false. So I'm going to say if it's equal to true i.e. it's valid, then let's send a thank you email address, so send email. And let's just pick that up, send email notification, I can send that to the, uh, the responder, just say thanks. Thanks, you might want to put a little bit more detail in your email address, but it sure get the idea. And if it's not, actually I can just terminate this flow. Um, I mean, I might want to log it or, or perform some other type of action, but just for demo purposes, we'll just close this off. Um, so that's it. That should be it. Nice and straightforward. So when, this, when, when a response comes in, the email address gets validated, um, whether it's true or false. If it's true, we'll send an email. I've got a trigger I've already checked here, so I can just run this now. And that will go through and validate the email address. Um, in this example, it'll, it'll evaluate to true, and so therefore the email address gets sent. So, um, as ever, if you have any questions regarding the utility actions or any other encoding action for that matter, please contact us by emailing support at encoding.com or you can visit the support portal, which is support.encoding.com.